In this lecture, we will be discussing the flash calculation. And what a flash calculation is, it is material balances plus vapor liquid equilibrium for multi components. So, in a flash calculation, we have a product feed where we have a known flow rate and a known composition. In this case here I've drawn the flash separator as a two component system. Uh, in the standard flash calculation uh, we will be given the temperature and pressure that the separation is to occur at and the unknowns consist of the total flow rate and composition of the vapor stream also called the top stream and the flow rate and composition of the bottom stream. So the material balance component of the problem comes into determining what is the total amount of top and bottom flow rate that you get and the thermodynamic component is in what is the composition. We'll have to use Routes Law to determine what the composition of the top and bottom stream is and we will use material balances in order to understand what the top and, uh, top and bottom flow rates are. So just to recap, for the standard flash calculation, and this is the most straightforward way that we can do a flash calculation, uh, we're provided the temperature, the pressure, the feed conditions, and we are trying to solve for the top composition and flow rate and the bottom flow rate and composition. This gives us a total of six unknowns. So looking at the available equations that we have in order to solve a flash calculation, we have two material balances, Now this is any combination of an A balance, a B balance, or total balance. Now recall that in degrees of freedom analysis we get two, uh, we get two equations for every independent species in the system, but we have three different options. That could be an A only balance, a B only balance, or the total balance. Uh, only two of these three equations are independent. Uh, we also have two Routes Law. And this is going to be one for A and one for B. Uh, the general form, uh, I'll write it out for A. And we have the same thing for species B. Now recall that this is the vapor pressure. And we write it oftentimes with a little uh, T right here just to remind ourselves that this is a strong function of temperature. So although we don't see temperature anywhere uh, in this expression, uh, we write the T here to remind ourselves that, okay, the vapor pressure is a function of temperature. Even though there is no explicitly written temperature, uh, there, there is a need for that there. And the final set of equations we have are two consistency relationships, which are going to be the summation of xi is equal to 1 and the summation of yi is equal to 1. And that gives us a total of six equations. So going back to our degrees of freedom analysis, we have six total unknowns. We have six available equations. So we have zero degrees of freedom. And that means a solution exists not only one solution but a unique solution. Now how do we go about actually solving the problem? Well, as we look here we have a large number of equations. We actually have six equations um, and even within the two material balances we can write it out as you know three possible different options. So the number of combinations that we can substitute one equation into the other equations and continue on going is a very high number. So what we're going to go over right now is a procedure uh, that I think is a really convenient one to start off with to do a standard flash calculation. And then based on the specifics of whatever problem uh, you may be given in a homework assignment that you can feel free to manipulate this approach uh, as necessary uh, because the standard flash calculation is not the only one uh, that is necessarily going to be given. So what I like to start off with is the summation of yi is equal to 1. So we can write this out as yA plus yB 
is equal to 1. Now if we substitute in Routes law, which is y i p x i p i star of t. Now in the approach that uh, I've taken here, uh, I've just written it out as subscripts, um, but you can replace the i's with the a's. Now if we go through the process um, of substituting Routes law into here, we can rearrange it y i is equal to x i p i star of t over the system pressure. So remember the pi, this is the vapor pressure of the species i, that is a material property. Uh, the p is the total system pressure, which is what your flash calculator is being operated at. Uh, we substitute this into our initial expression and we can come up with uh, the following equation, <clears throat> which is x of a pa star of t plus x b p b star of t is equal to the system pressure. Now I did a little rearranging, I moved the pressure over to the other side. Now if you look at this, this is very familiar to uh, what we did uh, for a dew point, sorry, a bubble point calculation. Now if we do one more substitution, we can actually get this to be one equation, one unknown. That can be rel rel readily solved. Uh, if we take the equation summation of xi is equal to one, we can write xa plus xb is equal to one, which we can then further rearrange that xb is equal to one minus xa. Substitute that into our expression. So we'll take this equation here, this equation here, and we can write xa p a star of t plus xb, oops, that's the substitution we're trying to do, one minus x of a p a star of p b star of t is equal to p. Now in this equation here, we have one equation and one unknown, and that is our x a. So we can solve for it. Now with knowledge of x a, we can then substitute that into Routes law, in which case we have y a p is equal to x a p a star of t. And in this case, we can solve for y a. And with knowledge of y a, we can use the equation y a plus y b is equal to one to solve for y b. And then with y b, um, we effectively solve the whole system. Actually with x a, we can also solve for uh, x a plus x b is equal to one and this place we can get x b. Now with this approach we have solved now for x a, x b, y a, and y b. So the only unknowns left are n t and n b which are the total top and bottom flow rate. And in this case, we have uh, two unknowns and two material balances. And we can write a number of different uh, combinations of that. Uh, for this approach, what I'll do is I'll just do a, uh, a total balance, in which case we have NT plus NB is equal to NF. And oftentimes, we set this as a basis of one. And then we can choose any either an A balance or a B balance. I'll just write the A balance, in which case we have Z of A times NF. Again, we'll just assume this is equal to a basis of one. ZA is equal to Y A N T plus X A N B. This first term is the total amount of A that is in the top stream. Uh, the rightmost term is the total amount of A that leaves as a liquid in the bottom stream, and that should equal to the total amount of A fed to the system. So now with the two material balances, 
we have two equations and two unknowns. The two unknowns, I'll circle in a blue, are nt and nb, and we'll notice that they are in both of the equations. And so from this, we can solve for all of the unknowns, and we've effectively balanced our flash calculation. Now keep in mind that this is the most straightforward of all of the flash calculation types, and there could be a large number of variations. For example, if we are not provided the temperature or the pressure, uh, then that is something that would have to be uh, used as one of the unknowns. But in order to keep the degrees of freedom at zero, uh, if you are not provided the temperature, you would have to be provided the uh, composition of one of the streams, or the total flow rate of one of the streams, uh, one of the unknowns would have to be used. Uh, but varying the temperature would manifest itself in the uh, vapor pressure term, in which case we typically use Anton's equation. In which case here we have the log 10 of P star is equal to coefficients A minus B over T plus C. Oftentimes this is given in millimeters of mercury and this T is in degrees Celsius. And so that's how we can integrate the temperature into the flash calculation. And then obviously if the pressure is unknown, that also shows up in Routes Law there. So the pressure and temperature are going to be thermodynamic terms and they'll show up in Routes Law. And whereas the composition is going to be something that shows up in both the thermodynamic uh, Routes Law and also in the material balances. And that is the basics of a flash calculation. Um, of course, they can get a lot more difficult than this. Um, but the same equations and the same manipulations are going to be used regardless of the desired outcome.